Hey everybody, welcome back to the journey. And yes, technically I only have a few months left to live. 240 to be exact. Take a look at this chart up here because it's actually pretty scary. Do you see all of the filled dots on that image? Those are the months that I've been alive. Do you see all the empty circles? Well, those are the months that I have left. It's a pretty grim image. If you want an even better grim image, here's one that's updated with, well, basically, I figure the last couple rows, I'm not gonna have much to offer in the way of a thriving life, so my number of empty dots just got a lot smaller. Subscribe for more videos. So yeah, what was it that Percy said in the Green Mile? Oh yeah, dead man walking. Let's discuss. Oh, and if you're new here, hi, I'm Rick. How you doing? The Reader's Digest version of me is a few years back, I stepped off the tried and true path and now I live my life to the best of my ability within a social security check limit budgetations, but always by my own rules, always by what I think fits life best for me. So yep, I am what you might call a nomad. Now, when I ran across this website that showed just how many years I had left to live based on the average American experience, I kind of freaked out, especially when I saw that chart with all of the dots. The dots just completely blew my mind. I mean, seriously, take a look at this thing. Seeing all of those dots just, it made me realize two things. A, that I'm making the right decisions, you know, lifestyle choice wise. And B, I better not dilly dally as much as I've been dilly dallying because every dot filled is a dot lost. So today, dear friends, I want to share a two things with you. Hi. Hmm? Oh, no, thank you. I'm good. Thank you so much. But it was very kind of him to offer it. Anyway, two things I want to share with you. One is where I am physically, you know, location wise. And by the way, that answer is Dalaman, Turkey. And secondly, secondly, I forgot what I was going to share with you. Hang on one second. Okay. Uh, I left myself notes because I tend to get lost. Uh, my girlfriend Nikki and I have been traveling, hiking, making the most of our dots, yada, yada, yada. We find ourselves in Dalaman, Turkey. And oh yeah, the second thing, the nomadic manifesto. And no, I'm not gonna channel my inner Ted Bundy and do a whole bunch of serial killing. I mean, the day's early, I'm not planning on it. But anyway, let me show you exactly where we are right now. So you want to see what $38 a night gets you? We are absolutely surprised. We have spent the past week in a very small hostel with kind of a kitchen and no air conditioning. You walk in, this is an apartment. You've got a lovely kitchen area. I literally, we walked in two minutes ago, so some of this is new to me too. It's got a nice downstairs bathroom, although I'm not quite sure how you get to the sink. I guess you don't. Dining table area, lovely blueness. <laughs> Those actually look very, very comfortable. And we have a little balcony. Okay, granted it faces a road in a parking lot, but still, have you noticed what's missing? And did you see something when we first walked in? The stairs? <laughs> yes. We have a second floor. These stairs are very, very narrow, tight. We have, oh, ah, watch me. We have a king size bed in our very own little bedroom. Little desk, little storage cabinet. That one's for Nikki. Why? Because my cabinet is out here. Oh, looky, another full bath. We just had to share, I don't know how many people were up there? Two toilets, two showers with 16 people. This is two people, two bathrooms. I think we can make do and oh, looky, here's another bedroom. And the best part is, I know this is Celsius, 19 degrees. We normally keep it on 21 and think we're cold. What's out here? What's, uh, how do you open these things? Oh, we have, can you open this? Um, oh, it goes that way. And there's a pool. It's literally a resort for $38 a day. 
Now, do some math. I'll do it for you. I'll put it up on the screen. If we were to rent this every day and live here, this is what the monthly cost would be. That is so much cheaper than Miami or pretty much anywhere else I've been. Two bedroom, two bath, full kitchen, balcony, swimming pool for $38 a night. You happy, baby? Yes, air conditioning. Air conditioning, look, another 19. Now, how do we get here? That's the fun part. Oh, well, we got here with bubble gum stuck to my ass because apparently someone somewhere in one of the 14 buses and taxis we had to get left it on a seat. Anyway, that's just me whining. This is 10 days. This is 10 days of us. And yeah, we had to take a taxi to a bus station, take a bus to a bus station and a taxi to here. And I have no idea what's out here. I know they have shuttles to the beach, but I don't know what's around this place. I know nothing about Dalaman, Turkey. So I guess at some point, you know, after I suck up all those air conditioning and do my laundry, you and I are gonna have to go figure out what's in this town. But we also need to figure out where the grocery store is. <laughs> we got this place because of the kitchen, because for the last seven days, every meal, breakfast, lunch, and dinner has been eaten out. Now, we found some very cheap places, but you can only eat out three meals a day for so long. I'm looking forward to doing some cooking. And oh, that's what we should kind of explore. Some of the reviews said that this place doesn't have much in the way of accoutrement. We got a couple plates, a couple glasses, a couple more plates. We have a nothing. Oh, we have, I don't know what the hell that thing is. That's odd. <laughs> Uh, to, to do what I'm looking for mostly are pots and pans. No. Um, we have some forks. Oh, we've got the, the minimum set of cooking. Please tell me that's not the knife. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, pots, pans, nothing. Nothing. We have a fridge. There are are we running it? We didn't look under here. Uh, what's about here? Um, we have slippers. Slippers aren't gonna help me cook. There are no pots and pans. None? Oh, wait a minute, here they are. I see, okay. There are a couple small ones. Got a pot and a couple. All right, so we're good. We're good. We have everything that a growing boy needs to cook. Did I mention we have air conditioning? Anyway, welcome home. 10 days of videos from here and in about Dalaman. Gonna be fun. So, yep, we are in Dalaman. It is almost five o'clock on our first day here. Literally, this town is going to take me about a minute and a half to walk from end to end on, so I better get talking about quickly. <laughs> My reasons for being a nomad. Oh, that's a, that's a hard and yet an easy one. Three, four years ago, something like that, I quit my job, just decided to, you know, screw it. Let's just go live on Social Security and savings. And that's what we've been doing for the past several years. It's been nothing but travel, slow travel, living in a school bus, just trying to figure out what life is like, trying to figure out what it is that we wanted to do. And it's taken a few years, but I think we got a pretty good grip on it, but I don't fit into normal life is the short answer. The let's have a, a big house, bigger house, play golf. I don't fit into the expectations of a normal American male. I, I have others. I have a creative side. I have an adventurous, inquisical, inquisical, curious side. That's why I do this. And he's back. Hi. What is your name? Uh, Rick Higgins. Rick. Yes, YouTube. Yep. You want to be on YouTube? You're on now. <laughs> I Turkish. You are an uh, American, United States. It is nice to meet you. Oh, bye bye. <laughs> God, I love kids. They keep coming up all the time wherever I am. And I think that's a, 
another reason I do this is you get to meet some really interesting people. And I love the fact that kids like that just have no fear. They just run around and do exactly what they want. And that's what I want to do as an adult. Okay, what was next on my list? Oh yeah, showing you this town. <laughs> we literally are halfway there. It ain't much, but I like it so far. I cannot wait to show you what we're gonna do today because it's something I have been dying to do for a very, very long time. <laughs> Yep, we are out here in the Sierra Cortez looking for whale sharks. So far, all we've seen is whales. Still kind of cold. Oh! We're halfway there, and all we need is the shark. Oh, that was amazing. And I, of course, didn't see anything. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh my god! Yeah. He was right underneath me. Yeah. He was absolutely right underneath me. Some good shots? <laughs> From that far away! So I just realized that I may be leaving you with a slightly false impression that my life is so glamorous and perfect. And hey, on most days it kind of is. But on other days, other days you got the hardships. Other days you got the guilt. You've got the family is still back on the other side of the world. They have problems, they need you, you can't be there. Yeah, you feel guilty. You feel like you're being selfish. But honestly, I'm what, 63? For my entire adult life, for most of it, I've taken care of other people. I've raised a family. I have done volunteer work for those in need. Well, if I only have so many dots left, I don't think it's too selfish for me to, well, put myself on the top of the list for a little bit because I don't have that many dots left. Yeah, if somebody truly needs me, I'll drop everything and go back for them. But no, I think this is kind of my time. And to rehash that decision, that choice over and over and over just makes no sense. I am who I am. I am where I am. And I'm going to keep doing what it is I'm doing, which apparently is looking at mountains and being lost in a four block town. I didn't think it was possible, but I managed to pull it off. Where in the hell am I? Well, that was pretty easy. I'm only a block away from where everybody else is. The joys, the joys of this life. I don't even know where to begin. The, the things I've seen, the people I have met, the experiences, the history, the culture, the, the food. And yeah, let's not forget the alcohol because you know, local alcohol is pretty damn great. But anyway, I am doing exactly what I want to do because it, it solves my curiosity. It answers my questions, along with giving me 14,000 more to ponder. It keeps my mind alive. And here's something, well, it's sad and depressing. I have a lot of dementia in my family. I mean, my father died of it. Every single one of his brothers and sisters died of it. On the other side of the family, well, it's there too. It's not a matter of when, or excuse me, try that one again. It's not a matter of if 
I get it, it's when. And constantly challenging your mind, constantly challenging your brain, it keeps your brain fresh. It keeps the neurons connected and growing. And I'll be damned if I'm just gonna sit in a barca lounger watching Wheel of Fortune, waiting for my dementia to kick in. I'm gonna go down fighting. And so that's a lot of the reason I do this lifestyle. A lot of the reason I put up with the guilt is because this is the healthiest way for me to live in many, many ways. Well, if you've ever wondered if the gods like to play with us mere mortals, I can unequivocally tell you they like it. About four hours after I filmed everything that you've seen so far, I got a phone call. Um, my stepmom died back in the States, half a world away. Now, I knew that she was sick. She was 90. Um, I knew that she had been in the hospital and I had been following virtually uh, how she was doing and she seemed to be getting better. She's a was a tough old Texan woman who uh, pretty much could get through anything. So it was a little bit of a shock when I got the call and said she didn't make it. She was ready to go and she went comfortably. And I don't know what to do with this part because I know it sounds like I'm making it about me, but everything in this video, it's ironic. I'm talking about my need to live, my need to enjoy life, to move forward. And then all of a sudden I'm hit with death and I'm hit with death in a guilty sort of way. I just talked about it earlier about how I'm not going to revisit my decisions to live my life the way I want to live my life, the way I feel like it needs to be. But at the same time, everybody else in the world seems to congeal and compact and stay where everybody else is. And I wasn't there when she was sick. I wasn't there when she passed. And now I've got to fight and figure out how and when and to get back for whatever remains. It's difficult. I don't know how expats do it. I don't know how travelers do it. I think that's the hardest part. And yeah, I'm kind of walking back a little bit of what I've said earlier, but at the same time, I can't. I have to figure out how to accept that my life is different, that my life values, that what I want to do, what I need to do, what challenges me, what brings me joy, how do I balance that with other people? How do I balance that with family? I have no idea, not a clue. I just know that I'm sitting there filming all of this stuff yesterday and I'm editing all of this stuff today and it just somehow all seems to be coming together. You know, it feels like a test. It feels like a point in time where you have to start making some real choices inside of yourself to believe in what you're doing, to believe that you deserve to have a life that fits you best. Lucy, I'm gonna miss you. You were indeed a wonderful, wonderful mother to me who came into my life when I was 16, just when I needed you most. And regardless of beliefs, I'm glad you found peace. I'm hoping that maybe I'm wrong and that you and my father are again together again. I'd like to think about that. Even, I'd like to think about that, so. So yep, somehow, some way, <laughs> in the past few years, I have actually managed to, to grow up by not growing up. I've learned how to manage a budget. I've learned how to live frugally. I've learned how to embrace myself, to love myself, and to enjoy life. I've learned to, to accept what comes. So I've done a whole lot of talking about me, and this is called YouTube, which means it's actually about you. What about you? What about your life? Now, I'm not saying, hey, are you been a, a nomad? Are you gonna give up everything and go wander the world like Cain? No, actually, let me put this to you in a really stupid yet interesting way. People ask me all of the time, where are you from? And I think it's a silly question. It's, what do you mean to answer? Where's my legal address? Miami. Where was I born? Alexandria, Virginia. A better question is, where you been? Or where are you going? And I guess that's my question to you. Where are you going? 
Now, do I expect you to, to do something as grandiose and uprooting as what I've done? No, I truly don't. But what is, God, I even hate this, it's such a platitude. I don't wanna ask you what your passion is. Who are you? All those dots on your chart, have they been filled with circles that are happy and joyful and bring you great memories? What about your empty ones left? What about all of those circles you have left to color in? Do you know how you want to fill yours up? It's okay if you don't, because I'm not entirely sure how I want to fill mine up, but I have a, a rough idea and I'm hoping that you do too. I am hoping that by following this channel and me oversharing my life and maybe by us combining forces, talking to each other, starting a community, maybe we can all help each other fill our dots up just a little bit better. But anyway, I'm gonna go back to exploring this town and grabbing Nikki and trying to find a Wi-Fi. By the way, the happy little $38 a night. <laughs> I discovered why it's $38 a night. It doesn't have Wi-Fi. There's, it's 2024. How in the world can you not have Wi-Fi? Anyway, so yeah, we're back to, at least we don't have to use candles. They actually do have electric lights here. <laughs> anyway, that's what I got for you today. We got 10 more days here before we have to leave Turkey. And I can't wait to overshare all of that with you. If you do want to hear more about all of this, let me know. And uh, maybe we can chat about it over on Patreon because I'm not sure everybody else really wants to get involved. So with that, be healthy, be happy, and we will see you soon.